Hello guys and welcome back to Waveland Park. Oh my god, I am so excited that we are finally back in this park. And uh, yeah, it's been quite a while, two months almost. And um, yeah, first let's have a look at our croc aviary and have a look at our crocodilians. First on the gharial that is in here. What a beautiful creature, uh, creature and what a big boy. And quite artistic. No, <laughs> not that artistic. Okay, um, let's move on and see what our caimans are doing. Yeah, all of them are in here swimming around really really great I love this building but in today's episode we are going to build something in here and for all of you that followed this park from the beginning and especially from the beginning of the area of the river's edge you know what is going to happen right here yeah this is exactly the place where the habitat for the red crowned cranes is going to be um, first of all, I had to do a little bit of landscaping because I wanted this whole area to be something like a Japanese garden or something like that. Yeah, I had a picture in my mind um, what I wanted to do vaguely. So not exactly what I'm going to do. So um, yeah, as it is most of the times, I'm going to start building stuff and then see where it leads me to. Um, but I have to be quite honest with this build here. I had some reference pictures on, uh, yeah, on uh, the other screen, um, which I googled before I started building. And I googled Japanese gardens and uh, found some buildings that I wanted to recreate and um, some things that I wanted to do in here. So um, I wasn't completely blindsided when I went into this build right here. Yeah, as I said, I wanted to have something like a Japanese garden, something that is over the top and uh, heavily themed because, yeah, you know, Waveland Park is something like a, t uh, like a theme park. So um, we love to go over the top and do stuff that is over realistic, <laughs> Disney style. Yeah, and that's exactly what we are doing in here in this episode. And um, yeah, as I as I said in the beginning, I had this vision in my mind what I wanted to build. And um, in the end, when I finished this whole thing, I was so, so, so happy. Um, although I still do think there could have been more done in this. But uh, yeah, let's... Let's have a look for your own. Yeah, as I said in the beginning, it's almost two months ago since the last episode in Waveland Park. I am back from holidays um, for, yeah, when you, when you see that episode, then it is more than a month that I'm back in Germany. And um, yeah, to be quite honest, um, in the beginning that I was uh, back from the USA, I felt in some kind of uh, depression, um, yeah, which which might be very very naturally, because when you come back from a country that is so different from the climate, um, we had almost um, yeah not almost we we had everyday temperatures from more than. 84 85 degrees Fahrenheit um, which means um, around um, yeah over over 30 degrees centigrade every day um, high humidity and um, uh, sun was shining all the time we were in such a good mood all the time and then you come back to Germany and everything is cold and gray and rainy and um, yeah you have to get back into your normal life and n not anymore in holiday mode so um, yeah I went into quite a depression as I said and it was 
little bit difficult to get back in the mood to play Planet Zoo as well. So we had the new DLC arriving, the um, Nocturnal Pack, no it is not. Um, we had the Twilight, <laughs> Twilight Pack, oh my god, I really had to think about it. Yeah, we had the Twilight Pack and so I, I felt a little bit forced to do some new stuff because I was thinking all my subscribers, all my viewers are waiting for me to do something with the new animals and the new building parts and um, I just didn't feel to build anything. Not in Swamp Lake Zoo, not in Waveland Park. Um, I also started... Um, yeah, was was talking about starting some franchise series on my channel and I just felt nothing, zero. And um, it took me quite some time um, to get back into the groove and uh, now I'm back again and now I'm so excited to build in Waveland Park once again. Waveland Park is always, um, yeah, th the challenge for me because as you guys know, I call Waveland Park my high-end park. So there's no building a new habitat within half an hour or an hour. Um, all the things that I build in here are taking a minimum of four to five hours. So um, same for this build right here. Um, and um, yeah, that sometimes that is quite stressful because you know you want to do something and the whole park looks so great already and um, you just have the constant fear of doing something that is only mediocre and you don't want to see uh, i don't want to see you guys uh, me doing mediocre i'm not cheryl hole <laughs> uh, rupaul's reference um, some of you might know what i'm talking about <laughs> okay so um yeah this right here is going to be quite a massive building and uh, shame on me this building doesn't have any purpose um, so um, there's no uh, stuff buildings in there there is no restaurant in there or something like that it's just an empty building uh, but I might change it in the future because um, it really is a pity that uh, I don't have anything in there and there really should be something in there I think so um, at least some staff buildings or something like that because um, when I'm building the path for our stuff uh, later on I noticed that um, yeah, our keepers and doctors and whatsoever have quite a long way to walk until they reach this habitat here. So um, yeah, it might be good for me to have something like a staff building in here. Or some various staff buildings. Okay, before we finish this building I had to build something with the new stuff from the once again nocturnal D uh, DLC, no twilight pack, um, I had to create some windows because the reference picture that I had had something like this as well and I definitely wanted uh, to recreate that and um, yeah that's what I'm going to do with these new building pieces from the twilight pack. Um, yeah. Um, some of you that also do watch the other stuff that I have on the channel already know my thoughts about the Twilight Pack. So I'm very interested for you guys to tell me in the comment section what you think about the new DLC. Are you happy with it? Is it what you've been waiting for? Um, did you have any other expectations? Um, how happy are you with the building pieces, the decoration stuff and so on? Um, to be quite honest, Twilight Pack is not going to be my favorite DLC. Um, Animal-wise, it is nice. Um, not much variety when it comes to the animals because we only have small mammals. Um, yeah, the the bat is nice, I guess. Um, also not 
too hyped for it but uh, yeah it's it's a nice little addition to what we already have in the game so um, yeah building parts some great stuff in it as per usual when we have a new DLC um, with new building parts um, lots of decoration stuff that is in my opinion only usable for Halloween themes and um, which is a mess because Halloween is only one a day a year so um, many many stuff in here that you can't use or you're not feeling for the rest of the year so uh, yeah okay but uh, back into the game we finished our first big building um, I say first big building because um, yeah it's it's the only big building in here but it's not the only building whatsoever so we are going to have two more things in here um, one little shrine that I'm going to build next I think I'm not quite sure but I think that's uh, that's going to be next and also some little building that is not quite Japanese I think at least color wise um, a color theme is a little bit more like Chinese um, I hope you guys don't mind. Um, yeah, it's. Is it insensitive when I say it is Asian at least? Yeah. Um, so I don't know much about uh, Japanese and Chinese culture, so I couldn't even tell you if the building that I built was Japanese or Chinese. I just Googled it. Google said it was something that you would see in a Japanese garden, so I decided to build that. Um, yeah. At least I think you can see it is not European at all. Okay. What I did here was um, I wanted to have a bridge. Um, the thought was that I wanted the keepers to be able to walk from one of these little islands to another and also have, um, yeah, have the illusion of an actual Japanese garden. So if it was a real garden, you would have some bridges in here because the owners of this landscape, of this beautiful garden, won't be... Uh, too amused to walk through the through the puddles the whole time so that was the thought behind that that was why i was building those little bridges we're going to have some more of them um, afterwards you're going to see only this one that i'm building right here um, after finishing this one i copied them around and put it here and there in uh, yeah in this whole build you can already see how easy it is to build something like these bridges um, when you just use the uh, concrete pieces um, it is yeah it is it, it is quite easy to build something nice um, it is quite more difficult if you want it actually to be something that your guests can walk on um, that is more difficult and I don't even like to do that um, that much because I'm always failing in some kind of way yeah but for decorational purposes this is um, yeah quite easy to do and you might want to recreate that in some point in some of your suits, maybe. Yeah, bridge almost finished. Um, some more decorational stuff that we have to do here. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking very much forward to when you guys see when I start planting this whole area. Because in the end, I really, really, really love uh, what, it, what it looks like. But we're getting to that. Yeah, um, as I said, Waveland Park is a huge challenge for me every time I get into this. And uh, I already start sweating when I think about what we are going to build next or what the next build is going to be on our timeline. So as we are in Asia, we have one more Asian animal that will be in this park that is going to be 
not in this park but in this area uh, maybe we have another Asian animal later on I just can't think about it right now but uh, there might be one um, yeah um, in this area there's going to be a, a habitat for the what is it called the Asian short clawed otter is it is that the name in English I think so yeah it was not dwarf otter or something like this it was the Asian small clawed otters um, yeah that's going to happen in the next episode and um, yeah as many of the times or most of the times here in this park I don't have a clue what I'm going to build in there so um, it might take yeah it definitely will take um, two weeks until the next episode in Waveland Park as per usual you know that from the past that I'm always taking two times uh, two times two weeks a break from Waveland Park because it is a little stressful it is um, yeah very joyous um, very much fun to build here but um, also very stressful yeah but in the meantime um, you might have seen that I finished Arizona Adventure Park and um, I'm going to tell you this I'm very very happy to tell you if you haven't seen it already that the, uh, the lady designer did a tour in Arizona Adventure Park which I'm very very happy about it and also for my German followers we also have a German tour even um, no not not even as well as great as it could be by gaming badass who did an amazing job by touring the zoo both episodes are, are quite massive because yeah it is a massive zoo so um, if you want to take the tour um, uh, through someone else's eyes in Arizona Adventure Park just check it out on the channel of the lady designer or gaming badass yeah here you can see the little shrine that I was talking about um, I really had to cut lots of stuff out of this video because it would have taken at least one hour if I have let everything in there that I was uh, building yeah just some staircases in here as well so that the owners of the Japanese garden might in theory be able to walk up to the higher levels and um, up to the shrine as well um, in the end when the cranes are moving in the fun thing is the cranes are not able to use the bridges because the bridges are a little bit too small for them um, which is weird because yeah you know the cranes aren't that big birds uh, but yeah it is what it is but they actually can use the staircases and they do so and this looks just hilarious I think I might have some uh, footage uh, at the end of the video where you can see one of the cranes uh, walking up the stairs um, uh, towards our big building in the background <laughs> that uh, looks looks really ridiculous but uh, yeah he's taking each step so um, kudos to that Yeah, and as I said uh, in uh, some part of this video, uh, there's quite uh, some changes to my channel as there is um, yeah, one, one sandbox series less. So uh, Arizona Adventure Park is done and I started to do some franchise stuff because I had a survey on YouTube and I asked you guys what you wanted to see the most or what is your favorite thing to watch on YouTube what I should do next and most of you more than 50% of you said that you wanted to see a franchise series on my channel and um, 
Yeah, I was thinking about um, doing an English franchise series or doing a German franchise series. So uh, I had another survey where I asked you, my viewers, what language you prefer and it was almost a tie. So 50-50 um, of you. Some of you um, preferred the English stuff, some of you preferred the German stuff and so I decided to do both. So we have now two sandbox series which is Swamp Lake Zoo in German, we have uh, Waveland Park in English and we also do have um, two franchise series now. Um, the one is Lemington Zoo which is uh, located in Australia. Um, that is my English franchise series if you want to check that out and we also do have a German franchise series that is called Siebentischwald. Um, Lemington Zoo always airs on Mondays and um, Siebentischwald always airs on Fridays. And also there's still the bake and play on tour videos, my German zoo tours. Um, we already have three of them on my channel, one um, from the zoo in Augsburg, one from the zoo in Nürnberg and one from the zoo in Munich. And there's also going to be, or um, I don't know when this video is going to air here, um, there's also going to be a video from the zoo in Miami as we've been to the US. I also recorded some tours. So there's going to be the Miami Zoo tour and there's also going to be a zoo tour from the Zoo Tampa and a smaller episode that is going to be from the Everglades that we also visited. Yeah, so if you want to check that out, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, the next thing that is going to, yeah, I know it's a lot of stuff that is going to return to my channel, um, at least for the, um, the time towards Christmas, is going to be Einfach Backen, um, my baking series where I'm going to bake some Christmas cookies. Um, I'm already thinking of doing something like... Um, I don't know if it is a thing in America, I think it is not, but in Germany we are celebrating the time uh, towards Christmas from December the 1st on and we have something like a calendar, uh, it's called Adventskalender, um, where we can open every day in December until December 24th um, one little um, door, yeah, one little door. Um, from the calendar and um, behind that there is something like um, chocolate, um, gingerbread, um, there's so many of these. Um, in the meantime uh, there's um, also some with wellness products, with alcohol, with um, with tools, with uh, with toys and stuff like that so it's it's very crazy so i was thinking about doing something like this um on my youtube channel so um that there's going to be a short video every day from december 1st on until december 24th and um, including the baking stuff in this um, advance calendar so um yeah so you see, there's a lot going on with my channel. After the <laughs> depression, there comes the manic episode. So um, where I'm going to do just too much. <laughs> yeah, but don't but don't you worry. I'm I'm perfectly fine. Um, that brings me to another thing that I wanted to say. Um, what I noticed is that. Um, yeah, I had uh, I had some conversations and um, I've been on some live streams recently, and what I noticed is um, that so many of you guys, so many people all around the world and uh, everywhere, are struggling with mental health from time to time. Some more and some less. Um, yeah, but I have the feeling that it's uh, getting more and more and more. And um, so what I wanted to say is um, 
yeah, you know, I'm very, very open about that stuff um, all the time. I've always been very open about this and very vocal. So um, I just want you guys to know as uh, this is the season where the nights are getting longer and longer and the days are getting darker and um, yeah, depression is hitting some of us. Um, very hard sometimes so um, don't be afraid to talk about someone if you need um, help or if you need someone to talk about it um, be open if you're not feeling fine it is totally okay to not be okay and it is it is also totally okay to talk about it so um, you would be amazed how many people do understand what you're going through because so many people are uh, so many people are going through the stuff for this uh, for themselves so um, be vocal about it talk about it don't be ashamed there's no need for you to be ashamed about that and um, if you need help seek some help yeah um, also, um, I'm not a therapist, but um, yeah, I want to say this. Um, if you need someone to talk to, um, my DMs, my, my Discord server, um, Instagram, Twitter, or whatever, um, is always open. So if you just need someone to, to listen or whatever, um, yeah, you're free to... to um, contact me as well yeah with that being said back into the game it's time to build some custom fences again um, and this is always a challenge for me but um, it is also so much fun because you can be so creative there is no limits what you can do and um, yeah I really love this new fence that I'm creating right now um, it is completely different than all of the other fences that I did so far in this uh, in this game and in this park and I really love how it got together and the color combination the red and the white and the black and yeah I just love it and we do also have to have something like a wall at the background of this huge habitat. And that is what I'm building right here. First of all, I was thinking about something like the Chinese wall and then I thought, no, um, we don't want to mix that too much. We want it um, to look Japanese and um, not go into the Chinese stuff too much. So I try to do something effective but but really simple yeah and i really do like the combination of the wood and uh, the stone here that uh, looks really cool and also this new fencing that we had from the twilight pack i got it the first time this time <laughs> not calling it the nocturnal pack uh, it's the twilight pack yeah And I think after I placed this walls, we are finally going into planting. That is always my favorite stuff in uh, Planet Zoo is uh, gardening. Because, yeah, the creators and, and the designer, designer? Is it designer? Uh, the designers in Planet Zoo always get so much credit for the animal models that we have in the game, but um, I've never heard that they get credit for the plants they did. So that's what I want to do right now. I am so amazed and so happy with the plants that we have in here. And you can see it right here in this Japanese garden. It's just so, so, so beautiful and so realistic i really do love the whole stuff that we got in here alone these uh, cypress trees uh, they are perfect in the combination with those other japanese trees yeah it looks just gorgeous and all those rocks and plants just make the habitat 
come to life in the end. Yeah, here's some more shrubbery in here. And I was so amazed by it. Um, I was looking around the whole time, placing new trees and uh, looking from right to left and from every angle, how looks the whole thing. Can we still see the big building in, uh, in the background? And uh, can we see the shrine? And do we have those viewing points? And it's just, yeah, with all these plants and uh, also with those uh, cherry trees, uh, just beautiful. And we are almost finished. Um, in the end, I was not too happy with just the fencing around it. So I had to build these arches and had some of the bamboo right in between to make it look a little bit nicer and give the whole thing a better shape, I think. And yeah, I'm very, very happy with this. And I can't wait to um, go into the habitat for the small clawed otters and uh, do something in a similar style. Not the same style, but in a similar style. Yeah, and we are finished with the habitat for the crown cranes. The birds also moved in, so now it is time to visit them. And doesn't this look great? I'm really, really, really happy, um, not with this guy looking into the bamboo and not in the actual habitat, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with how this looks. Yeah, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about. It's quite a different style that we had so far in this park. So uh, do you like it? Do you think it fits the whole area or do you think, no, this, uh, this doesn't work here? Um, let me know what you think about it. Yeah, and with that being said, I'm going to leave you guys alone for the last two minutes, I think it is. Um, just have a look at this beautiful habitat and our beautiful animals in here. I just love the sounds of them as well. Um, yeah, and if you liked the video and what I built in here, just leave a like, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future episodes of Waveland Park and all the other great stuff that is on this channel. And um, yeah, leave a comment and let me know what you think about the whole thing. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. So have a great time, take care and bye!